This is Milani, chapter 13, problem number 3. In this problem is the application problem, which I am giving you the uh, profit function, and we are trying to find the maximum profit. Remember, maximum profit means it's going to be a local max. That's all you it means. Now, I'd like to know about the domain for any time I'm trying to find the increasing, decrease. In this problem, there is no restriction. That's the reason domain is going to be all real numbers. Now, to find the maximum profit, I need to find first derivative because we need to find the critical number. That is my derivative. Now, in order for me to find the critical number, I need to factor this. Having the negative with the beginning of your equation when you are trying to factor, it does make it a little bit harder. That's the reason the first thing I do, I'm going to factor my GCF. And now, I have to find the two number. When I multiply it by each other, it become minus 6. And now, here, because of these two, there is a little bit challenging, which you need to be careful. This minus, I brought it down. Then this is my factoring. When I factor, I set my factoring equal 0, and solve for x. x is equal minus 3 half or negative 1.5 and x is equal to this is two critical number. At this moment I don't need to find the critical point for both of them. Now we know in order for me to find the maximum I have to sell something. That means this x is not necessary to work with it. But in this problem, I do because I am trying to show you the shortcut for the local mean, local max. Now, before in 13.1, 13.2, to find the minimum maximum, we have to find the increasing, decreasing. And then from that, we were finding the local mean, local max. But the shortcut, this is the one I want you to pay attention to the shortcut. For the shortcut, I'm going to first thing I do, I'm going to find the second derivative. Then I'm going to use my critical number in second derivative. It means I'm going to find P double prime of a minus 3 half. If I replace the X by minus 3 half right here, it doesn't matter my number is the positive one or positive value. Here, negative times negative is become positive. Positive combined with positive is going to be positive. That means if the result is positive, means in this area, my graph is upward. The simplest way, I have a short example right here. If I have a f of x is equal x to exponent 2, my graph is going to be like this. When my graph is like this, then here, is the lowest curve on your graph. That means that's going to be my minimum. Now, again, for this problem, this was not necessary to do it because the item was negative. But now, P double prime of a 2. P double prime of a 2 minus 4 times 2 minus 8, 
plus 1 is going to be minus 7. Again, as you in see it, I did not indicate this minus 7. I just say minus. If it is negative, that means in this area, my graph is downward. Then this point, which is the highest curve on the graph, that is going to be my relative max. That's the question was. Find the maximum profit. That means when the X is 2, that is the maximum profit. But when the X is 2, but now we are trying to find the actual profit. Go to the P of X. Replace the X by the 2. And then when you plug it on the calculator, your answer is going to be 218 points, several point. But right here, it says in thousand. That means when you are trying to find the quantity of the point, because this is the 1,000, make sure go by the three decimal point. And now multiply this by 1,000. And then maximum profit of 218,667 at the x is equal to. And that is my answer.